Hey developers, today we're going to look at WordPress. We're going to move a site from one server to the other. So I'm going to outline all the steps that you need to do that. Now to do that, we're going to use a service called webdoc.io. They're an amazing hosting service provider. Actually, if you look below, I have a link to them. Make sure you click on that. They're graciously sponsoring this video. And if you sign up for them, you can get one free month if you use the code program with Eric. So with no further ado, let's begin. Okay, to begin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an existing site that I have here, and this is my Eric WP site, and we're gonna move it over from, it's locally hosted here, and we're gonna move it over to our web doc server, hosted server, which is much faster and quicker, and it should work great. And like I said before, make sure you click in the description below and where you can find out how to get your own web doc server. So here it is. I don't have much on here. It's just a kind of an empty site and I actually don't have a domain name attached to it. I just have the IP address of the server it's hosted on. So there's a couple of ways that uh, to do this. The first thing we need to do is we need to export the actual database and that has all our posts in it. It has all our configurations. It has everything, basically everything the site needs. So there's a couple ways of doing this. The first way is we can use something called PHP My Admin. So a lot of hosting services have this already built in. You'll have to check if it is already built in, but you can usually check by going to the name of your server slash PHP My Admin, and then typing in the password to get in, which you should have. And if I can remember correctly, I'll get into mine. Here it is. And once you're in, you'll see on the left-hand side, a list of servers. Um, might be kind of hard to see. So you see here a list of servers right here. WordPress is actually, uh, excuse me, this is, these are the databases. WordPress is one of the databases. And uh, so you'll have to know the name of your database that your WordPress resides on. Usually it's pretty obvious, but you might have to check with your service to find out what the name is. But you just click on it. You'll see these type of tables and then you click export at the top and really you need to do is just leave the defaults and click go and it will download this SQL file for you and then you can use that file which we'll show a little bit later in this video of how to import that into your service into your system on your new web doc server uh, the more advanced way to do it is a lot of hosting providers will give you shell access so I went ahead and used putty here and SSH into the server. And you can see here, here, I'm just in my local directory here. And I actually, if you go to var www.html, it might be, it should be in that location, but it might change depending on how your server is set up. This will have the directory for your WordPress site. So what you can do is you can run this command and this basically is a lamp what we call a lamp setup which has Linux Apache MySQL and PHP so that's already installed on this server and this is this is the WordPress server we want to move WordPress install that we want to move so we can run this command since we know we're using MySQL we can MySQL dump dash u and then this is where you would put in the username which you should have. If you don't, if you forgot your username, you can also look inside. If you look inside here, uh, the WP config file. If I do look in the WP config.php file, this has all the settings, and we can see right here, I have really good security. But you can see here, WordPress is my database name. The username is WordPress user. The password is password, and the host is localhost. So those is that's obviously what we need to get up and running here. So I can do MySQL dump dash u WordPress user dash p password was password and we'll call the database name is WordPress and then we'll output that to its own file. We'll redirect it into my db.sql. And it just told me using a password in the command line interface can be insecure, but we did it anyways. And you can see here now we have our, which I'll move this up just slightly so you can see it. We have this my 
db.sql file, which has everything about our uh, WordPress site. So that's our the whole WordPress. That's the whole WordPress database. So you can import that in, which we'll do in a little bit. And you can see here's the command I used again. And uh, you might notice I did dash p, and it ran together with the password. So that is what you're supposed to do. So you do have a separated space between the U and WordPress user, but the password in dash the tag p and p password is in is right together there. And then of course the name of the database, and then you redirect it to the file. After you've created the database file, you can go ahead and tar the whole directory. So we can do tar dash cvf the name of the file, we'll call it wordpress.tar, and then the directory, which we'll just put dot. Cool, so if we do that, you can see here, it went ahead and created a WordPress tar file. If you want to, you can do gzip it. We could do gzip-9 and put the tar file name, and that'll make it a little bit smaller. You can see it's about 871, um, I don't know, about eight megs. A little bit big, but not too bad. So now what we can do is we can move this gzip tar file to our new WordPress site that we created using a web doc and get that up and running, which I'll show you in the next part. Okay, so I am on my server here. This is the server that I am moving the WordPress site to. This is hosted by web doc right here and I am logged in. And so what I did is I did a wget on my server and I put in the address and I went ahead and copied the WordPress tar.gz file over. And this is the whole site, of course, that I moved over. Now, if you, just like before, I don't, if I didn't have SSH access, I can do it using PHP my admin. You can see here's the server right now. I don't have anything on it. I just put a blank HTML page. But if I went to PHP my admin, you could see here that I also have PHP and my admin installed on my server, my web doc server. So I could definitely use that if I needed to. So here is the website, but I'll show you one way of taking care of this. So I have the WordPress tar file. Now, if I go to my var www.html folder, um, actually this server is running Nginx, but this works the same way. The last server I was running Apache, but it's the same thing here. So I have my index.html file. I can leave that there for now. But what I want to do is I'm going to move from my home directory, this WordPress tar file, I'm going to move it to this folder. And if you ever get this message about permission denied, you might have to run a sudo command because I'm a sudoer. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my password and it went ahead and copied it over. So now I can extract it. I can use tar xvfz since I'm using gzip the sudo command so I have the correct permission great so went ahead and extracted everything to this folder and now we need to install the database and just so we don't forget we'll remove that WordPress tar file Okay, so let me go ahead and install the database files. To do that, I type in MySQL, put you and the username, and then P and the password, and then the database, database name, and then I take the file and I put it in here. And so I'll go ahead and run this. I'll do this off camera because I don't want to show you my real password. Okay, I went ahead and installed it. So I can also check here. I could have done it here as well. So if I go to my PHP MySQL, I'm going to put in my MySQL password. And that'll log me in. And you can see here, here's Eric's server. Here's my WordPress install. So that worked correctly, which is good. So we can see that everything is fine there. Now that we have the database installed, we need to go ahead and do a couple of things. We need to update the WP config file that we have here and put in the correct database username and password. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we have our WP config updated, we can let WebDoc know, since we're using WebDoc for our new server, that we're managing WordPress for it. So 
on your server page, you just need to click this little three dots here and go to manage WordPress. And it'll mention this here. Before you interact with WordPress, use, using WebDoc, you need to deploy WCLI to your server. This will, w, this will deploy WCLI to here. So you just click this little button here and it'll go ahead and install it. And it goes ahead and installs it. So it'll give you this message here. If WordPress is not already installed, you can install it now. We don't need to do that. We just copied everything over. Alternatively, you can tell us where WC is located in a server so WebDoc can interact with your WP installation. So we know that's on var www.html. That's where he did it. So we click Save Path there. And cool. So now we have, now basically, WebDoc is connected to our WordPress so we can check for updates. We can, uh, we can choose what we want to update. It gives us some status information that's interesting. It also has something called WordPress Lockdown, which gives you a way to harden your WordPress installation by setting prohibitive permissions on all files. So this is kind of nice. So if you're using a WebDoc for a WordPress site, you can use this WordPress Lockdown and lock it down. And then you can save previewing, previewing of WordPress updates. So it's kind of some really nice features that is nice to have if you're using WordPress. And uh, once you do this, it'll do everything for you. So one thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have the correct permissions. chown. That's our recursive for www.data for data. And we'll put a dot there. And that'll set the correct permissions for all our files in here. We don't want to accidentally have the wrong permissions. So we we noticed on our old site we had this was our name 192.160.180, but our new server should actually have this Eric server Ducat. So to make that change, I can actually run this command here. I'll do sudo wp search replace. I'm going to put in the old information, which is the 192.168.1.80, and I'm going to replace that with the uh, server that we have here, ericserver.cot.webdoc.io, and then I'm going to run this command skip columns equal GUID. And this should go ahead and make all the updates for me. And we'll go ahead and make sure we do dash dash allow root. Okay, and it went ahead and made the replacement for us. So now we just need to see if things work correctly. So let's go ahead and go back to our PHP my admin. We'll log out here and we'll see what it looks like once we go to the main site. And just because I forgot one thing, I have this index.html file, which I need to remove. So I'll remove it. And now we'll refresh it. All right, great. You can see here, ericserver.webdoc.io. I went ahead and updated it. And now the server is now on the new site. And you can see here that everything's working correctly. It has the correct formats that I set up. Um, yeah, so everything's working great. You can see here is the old site, 168.180. So here's the old site. And here is it on, here is the new site. See here, it looks exactly the same. Everything moved over and copied correctly. And we are done. Easy peasy.